Hi guys, hello and welcome to Inceptor Gaming. If you're new to my channel, please click like, give me a subscribe, put a note in the comments about a type of RTS or simulation games you like to play. Today, this is Command & Conquer Remastered, GDI Level Part 7, Iron Cannon Strike. This is what it's all about. We've cornered Kane in his biochemical research laboratory. Fight your way to the lab and level it. Intelligence informs us that Kane's on site, so complete destruction is imperative. This ought to help. The boys at R&D have completed preliminary testing on the Ion Cannon, the next generation of strategic defense armaments. Its geosynchronous orbit gives it a target divergence factor of 8 to 1. It's an awesome weapon, the most powerful in our arsenal. You fought long and hard, Commander, and it's all come down to this. We're with you. Good luck. Okay, so finally then we get our hands on the Iron Cannon. Fantastic. That is one of my favourite GDO weapons of all time. I love that. Okay, so we've got yes, our starting sir. units here then. Okay, we've we got a little Humvee, a couple of tanks, mammoth tank, MLOS, and construction yard as well as a couple of grenadiers. Yeah, not bad. Okay. There's some Tiberium over there, so that's a good place for us to start. Uh, set a base up in this region, I think. Yes, acknowledged. Yes, sir. New construction options. Moving out. Building. Yeah, power station online. Ah, some more top beam over there, that's handy. Okay. That's nice. Right then, so. Construction complete. I was going to place my uh, power unit and also option. start building a few of the structures, also building. as well, because this level did take me over an hour. Um, with the powers of video editing, uh, I will be speeding up time shortly, and that will kick in fairly soon. Complete. So don't be alarmed when uh, everything starts going about three times as fast. Building. I have done that deliberately. Yes, you got it. Yes, no, right away, sir. Ready and waiting for moving out. Yes, affirmative. Construction complete. Okay, so enemy's trying to attack the place already. It's not the last 10 seconds. So that's yes, the pin. moving out. Waiting Ready and waiting. Rod, waiting. Yes. Ready and waiting. Permanent. Yes, yes, yes. Moving out. And here we go. Here comes the power of video editing, making things a little bit quicker. Because, like I say, the original mission did take me over an hour, so obviously I don't want you guys to all sit through that, obviously. Right then. So, continuing on. Uh, harvester's on the go there. I'm just going to clear a bit more of that terrain over to the left hand side. Just uh, stop some sn units like those trying to sneak up on me. Okay. Right, so there are base has got to be up the top somewhere. Oh, more infantry coming my way. Going to pull my units back, back to my base, to a nice defensive position there. Oh, enemy harvester. I might have to uh, take him out if I can. Yeah, so my forces are against the harvester. Get rid of that bad boy. Let their infantry come towards me and towards my guard towers. Ah, oh, sending flame tanks. Ah, oh. Cheeky gits. All right, let's take, get rid of those. A couple of buggies, no problem. Uh, a couple of light tanks, okay. So I've sent a few units against me so far, not too much though. Um, I'm going to have to build a repair facility though, because my units are taking some damage, especially my MLRS and one of my tanks. Need to get those all repaired and everything. Okay, there's my repair yard. Okay, now I have the facility to build my tanks as well. That's great. Uh, I'm going to take out that SAM site. There's probably at least one more on either side as well of that uh, to the left-hand side there as well. They tend to do, build them in twos. Okay, that's one. I better if I move that tank further along, I'll uncover a second one. There we go. There's a second one. Might as well take that as well. Right, 
going to get my scout now. Scouting up the right hand side of the map, clear the terrain on that side. There we go. Look for another avenue where they're coming down to uh, attack me. All right. Couple more tanks coming from the west. My tanks are being repaired there. I'm going to re repair my mammoth tanks shortly as well. Uh, still are coming at me with some more like tanks and infantry. Okay, so I better repair my guard tower. <laughs> I might as well use the harvester to uh, run over a few of the infantry. Make it nice and useful. Okay, they're going to send some more troops my way. That's fine. I don't mind. Okay then, so let's get rid of these guys here. A couple of rocket soldiers. Going to pull my tank back there. Oh, okay, I did lose the tank. I was going to try and hide my tank behind the guard tower. I didn't quite work out that way. Going to send my gun this, take out that guy. All right, he's gone. Okay, so it looks like the enemy's got two bases. Okay, a small base up in the middle of the map and one at the very top. Okay, so I'm repairing my mammoth tank there as well. Might as well take advantage of that opportunity while it exists. Going to build a couple of little sandbags over this side. Reason being, I can build some more buildings to the right of them afterwards. Just a little old trick that we can use there. So, okay, got some more tanks coming my way. Going to position my units to engage them effectively. Okay, so that's a light tank will be gone soon. A couple more units coming down from the top. Just need to uh, take those guys out. Yeah, I don't know about anyone else, but personally, with the remastered version here, I do like the fact that the uh, the Bradley for the Nod Light tanks actually changed to T62s. I think the T62 is certainly a lot more fitting um, and actually would stand a chance of taking on a main battle tank like a Bradley, whereas uh, sorry, a main battle tank like <laughs> like an Abrahams, uh, whereas you know a Bradley APC with with a pea shooter. No, nah, it's not going to happen really. So. Anyway, carrying on. Right then, there's my harvester still going around. Going to re repair one of my vehicles, my MLRS. They're actually quite important on this level. They're not very sturdy, but they, uh, they are quite good weapons to take out buildings and things. Okay, I'm just having a quick look at the map as well, just to make sure there's nothing coming down towards my base at the moment. That all seems good. I've got my iron cannon uh, building at the moment being constructed, so uh, I should shortly have that up and running. There we go, I'm just going to place that there out of the way. <laughs> it's giving me low power though, okay fine. I need, <laughs> need an additional power station. <laughs> I've got the iron cannon, but I haven't got the juice. <laughs> right, time to uh, put a new power station. Got some more units coming my way by the looks of things. Have to uh, get ready for a little battle here. Okay, these light units, not too much of a threat, but I better pull back behind my guard towers. Just gives me a better chance. There we go. Okay, my, my mammoth tank got a bit low on health there. I might have to re repair that shortly. Just going to build another scout as well. Check out my surroundings further afield. Okay, so there's the enemy little base. Okay, call the power stations like I suspected. Oh, refinery. I might have to uh, do something about that. Got a couple of silos as well. Okay. Easy money ready for the taking, hence the fact I've made an engineer. Going to whack it in the back of an APC and uh, try and infiltrate that part of the base. Uh, just scouting out further ahead as well to the uh, top of the map.
Okay, so there's another enemy harvester. I might have a chance of taking that down in a minute. Let's see how it goes. Or even if I can capture it, that'd be even better. Okay, so call of some sites up there. Right. That small base is looking kind of right for the taking, I think. That's right, gonna move in my APC shortly. Uh, some of their cheeky engineers are trying to capture some of my structures. Good job I had some uh, some cover down there to protect them. Right, okay, so I've captured one of their silos, that's good, and give me some money. Definitely take down their power stations as well, because uh, I believe they've probably got obelisks protected in their base. But I'm going to put up, uh, when I can find room, an advanced uh, guard tower. Gives me a bit more firepower, so that'd be nice and good. So, got my engineer waiting down the bottom there for an APC when I build one. Actually, uh, MLOS, put that up there. Okay. Oh, a couple more of their little tanks coming down. Let's take them out. To be fair, at this point, I mean, I know they keep sending units uh, against me every so often, but I'm not really finding too much of a challenge, which is pretty good. So I must have a decent amount of uh, units because that's the thing with this game, everyone thinks you must uh, build tons of tanks, tons of tanks, tons of tanks, rush, rush, rush. Not necessarily. Plus also they cost a lot of money to build as well. So, you know, you, you're you building all these tanks up and for what? You, you, you're spending a lot of money that maybe you can use on other things as well, that are just as, if not more important. Keeping them repaired and healthy, though, that's always a good thing. There we go, Iron Cannon Strike. I love that, that's amazing. It's fantastic against uh, groups of infantry and also gun emplacements, also obelisks as well. So small structures or infantry, yes, great for those. Taking the refinery, that'll give me some cash. I'll flog that off in a minute. Choose my APC to run over some of their troops as well, and I'd better pull my APC back, see if I can repair it. Saves me having to build a new one. I might lose that APC though, I think I probably will. Oh no, 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 I might just make it, might just make it. Hey, okay, got my APC back, fantastic. So I can repair that now. Time to get a couple more engineers on the go. Yeah, should never underestimate the uh, the ability of your engineers. Uh, capture structures quickly and easily as long as you can get them past any defences or uh, enemy infantry and, and vehicles. So, oh, the harvester's in my way, thank you. I'm going to destroy you, goodbye. Right. Uh, that annoyed them, okay. <laughs> They're coming at me like a big swarm now, right, okay. I'm going to have to uh, get nice and defensive on this one. If I'm going to pull back a bit behind some more guard towers and everything. I've also got my advanced guard tower hiding there behind my war factory. Just bring them in nice and close. Just keep an eye for anything else that might be coming down as well. Okay, so here's the first ones. Getting a combination of my vehicles and also my guard towers. All right, gonna sneak my APC back into that middle base there. See what I can do with that. Okay, try to run over some of the troops. Another iron cannon strike. Okay, that was fantastic. Okay, I'm going to build some rocket troops now, uh, now I've taken over part of the base. Might as well uh, attack them from within. Now I've got my own hand of nod in that little bit of base there. There we go. Call the flamethrowers and rocket men just to uh, take out the gun emplacement. Nice and easy. Need to build some more troops. Build some engineers from inside. There we go. Improves my cash flow. Uh -huh, those tanks are going straight past the base from my main base. That's fine. Right, so just that gun in place one there, just need to take that out. And I can see on the screen, there, there are units are moving to my main base, so I better get ready to hold those off. Uh -huh, coming from two directions at once, but it won't be enough. Thanks to my units and guard towers. Oh, I did lose a guard tower though, I'm going to have to rebuild one I think. Not a problem, these things happen. Right. Right, just repairing my... Uh, Call my unit, my structures there, and also my improved guard tower. Definitely don't want to lose that if I can help it. I've already lost one normal guard tower. 
but it would be quite a blow if that goes down as well. Okay, it's going to move up some troops. I'll put the speed just down to normal speed at this point as well, just to see what's going on. So no, he's getting stuck. Okay, this way. I thought the B1 coast by. Okay, well, at least I know where that is now. So now I've got a fair idea where the obelisks are. There's one there. There's probably one on the other side. So shortly, with the powers of video editing, I will be speeding things up again just to get through this little bit here. At least now I've got a better understanding of uh, what I have to watch out for. Repairing. Go. I did jump a bit there, I'm afraid, uh, on the editing. Um, I must have cut out a little bit more than I realised. Okay, trying to build some mammoth tanks, that might give me an edge. Also, yes, uh, I, I missed out a bit there, I'm afraid, where I took out the obelisk with an iron cannon strike. Uh, as I said earlier, iron cannons versus uh, small structures, gun emplacements, obelisks, that sort of thing do work very well and the sods have rebuilt it that's a bit of a bugger okay I'm gonna have to come up with a new strategy on that one I think hmm as far as I can tell there's no other way to get to their power stations if I could knock out a couple of power stations that would make a big difference but I'm pretty sure I don't have any easy access to those but either way I do need to get past the obelisk to get to anything I need so I'm probably going to have to wait and time it for another iron cannon strike uh, just to finish it off and then have an engineering APC close by not too close but close enough that I can run it past uh, where it was and then uh, capture a power station or two from within again they keep sending more of my units, their units towards me but it's, it's not enough Okay, so my iron cannon should be ready in a couple of minutes or so. Right, okay, so... Yep, there we go. So there's the iron cannon taking out the obelisk. Now I'd quickly need to get my APC up in there through the gap. There we go. There's the main power stations. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go for the construction yard. Oh, there we go. I lost. I had a couple of engineers in the APC, but I lost one. No problem though, because I've got the construction yard. I sold it before they destroyed it. So I've got all the cash from that. And also now, anything I take over that gets destroyed or sold, they can't replace. So that's exactly what I wanted, really. Okay, so it shouldn't be too much longer now to be fair. It's just that top base I've got to finish off. Gonna send up a mammoth tank so I get them in position. They do take a while to get there. I should wait for my iron cannon to charge as well to take out that final obelisk. Because now the construction yard is gone, they've got no means to rebuild it, which is always good. So I've got to be very choosy when I move my units forward. Right then, so we should soon be finishing up. Just going to move my tanks forward now. Get into position by there, take out that uh, gun emplacement. Get them started on the house so that will uh, make the enemy swarm towards me. Come, that's fine, it's just what I want. Take them all out. I'm also waiting for my own cannon to charge up to uh, take out their final obelisk. I don't want to get too close to that. Might as well start working on the power stations while I'm here as well. There we go, there's one down. Iron cannon ready. Okay, the obelisk is gone, so they can't do anything about that now. That's gone. Okay, I'm losing my mammoths alarmingly quick though. That's <laughs> I wasn't counting on that. Okay, fine. Okay, I'm going to have to change my tactic on that one. I wasn't expecting to lose them quite so quickly, but anyway, not to worry. Okay then, so I've uh, got more than one iron, iron cannon available now. I'm hoping that will speed up the uh, the time it takes to recharge. I'm not sure if it does or not, but uh, 
I know with some units in the game, you know, if you build a couple of barracks or whatever, it increases the speed at which units are produced. I'm hoping that'll be the same with the iron cannon, uh, because the standard time on normal play takes about five minutes, which is quite a while. I'd rather, uh, I'd rather a bit more frequently than that, if possible, even though it has speeded the game up, but it still seems to take a while. Well, it's good to have been able to build some of their flame tanks and things. <laughs> Yeah, I do love using the weapons of mass destruction against them. <laughs> nick their, nick their hand of nod, nick their um, airstrip or whatever, and <laughs> build a flame unit and start taking out all their units with one of their own flame units. Quality. Right then, okay. So most of that base is pretty much gone now. It should just be a case of mopping up, really. To be fair. Just going to send my APC up there with some engineers in it. Just capture a few buildings. Let's build a couple more engineers and take those structures and it should just be a case of uh, destroying the gun emplacements and the SAM sites and uh, happy days. Oh hello, there's something else over here, what's that? I didn't see that before. Mm-hmm. Uh, doesn't look like there's any easy way into there either, okay, that's interesting. There's something new I'm going to have to investigate. All right. Okay, well, one of the good in place was trying to take up my uh, power station. That's fine, I don't mind. It stops them using it. I'm going to turn them on the gun tower. Okay. Yeah, I'd sell off uh, one of the units. Ah, okay. It's like a chemical factory or something like that. Okay, so I'm going to have to destroy that. Okay. I suppose I'll bring up my MLOS and maybe a couple of tanks, that should take care of that, but I better take out care of the um, good emplacements in that first, and the SAM sites, get those gone. Okay, that's one gone, let's take the one to the left. <laughs> there we go, Iron Cannon did the job for me, sorted. No, it's just that structure there, which uh, I believe is probably a chemical factory or something like that. So let's uh, get rid of that. Reporting, yes, sir. The unit reporting. And the uh, now that should be gone. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Unit, yes, sir. Okay, that's gone. Mission Excellent. Accomplished. And mission accomplished. Just what we like to see. Okay, nice little outro here. There we go, it's all going wrong for them. <laughs> you better get out of there, mate. <laughs> okay, and so as I said earlier, uh, the video did take a while in all. Um, hour 20 minutes nearly for me to complete the level originally. Yeah, so like I said at the beginning of the video, it did take me over an hour to complete, uh, about an hour and 20 in all. Hence the fact I use the power of video editing to speed things up. Also, like I said in the video, I do enjoy the fact that the uh, Bradley APCs for the Nod Light tanks have now become T62s. If you agree or disagree with that, drop it in the comments. If also you want to give me your favourite Command & Conquer ever game, put that in the comments as well. So thank you very much indeed for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy this content. Please give me a like and a subscribe.